What's up everyone, it's Nick, and I'm finally back with another video, and I'm doing something a little different as you can see this time, because I'm not in my usual setup, I'm actually outside right now, and why is that? It's because I'm going to a baseball game between the Tokyo Yomiuri Giants and the Fukuoka South Bank Hawks. Welcome to my first ever game vlog, hope you guys enjoy it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really been up to date with Japanese baseball, like, I've known all the teams since I was 12 years old, but... I've never really followed it like that, so I'll be honest, I don't know much about the players, although I do know that the Giants have their ace pitching today, Sugano, who major league teams were looking at and potentially signing last season, but he opted to stay in Japan, so I will be seeing him pitch tonight, so I hope you guys enjoy this vlog, and hope I can give you the best in-person experience of Japanese baseball that I can possibly give you with this vlog. So here I am now at the Tokyo Dome. Now I thought I should give you some fun facts about it. Michael Jackson's performed here. Uh, U2 has, Prince has. There's never been a rap concert here, but yeah, Celine Dion has performed here too. Like whatever famous pop artist you can think of, at least from way back in the day, yeah, they have performed here. And this is also where Buster Douglas knocked out Mike Tyson. But you know what else is here? Look at this massive roller coaster and a Ferris wheel. Now, for, I think Comerica Park has a Ferris wheel, right? Well, they don't have a roller coaster, though. And look what else the Tokyo Dome has. I don't know if you can really see it. But yeah, Tokyo Dome has an has a massive amusement park as well. Thought I should show you that as well. Now also right in front of me, over there is the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going in today because, you know, the game starts in a little less than 30 minutes as I'm recording right now. Oh, I got to see, here's some Lauren Hill, um, okay, but anyways. Baseball Mu Hall of Fame Museum is that way, the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame. And then there's a baseball store over there. There's also loads of restaurants here. And, um, actually, you don't know, I'm gonna go that way first so you can get a close up view of the Baseball Hall of Fame. So, all right. Just gonna get a little closer, okay. So here it is, the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame. See, I don't think I'm gonna go in today, but if you want a vlog of that, let me know in the comments. I will definitely tour this place again, just for you guys. I've been there before, but if you want to see a vlog of the Baseball Hall, the, the, if you want to see a vlog of the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame, I'm more than happy to do it for you if you guys want that. Now here's the store. Yeah, so all but. All this Giants gear in here, but you know what? They also have a Masahiro Tanaka Rakuten Golden Eagles jersey sold in there. Maybe I might buy that one of these days. I'm pretty sure there's an Ichiro jersey somewhere in there as well. I do have to show you these gates. Over there, the Nagashima gate. The Shigeo Nagashima gate. So Shigeo Nagashima was a great player for the Giants a long time ago. He also managed them. He was Hideki Matsui's manager. He was a great player, also a very eccentric guy, and perhaps I might make a video on him one day, because, you know, he was a great player, but very interesting character. And then Saduharu O, oh, the world's home run, the world's home run king. So O oh and Nagashima were a dynamic duo of sluggers for the Giants back in the 60s and 70s. They were kind of like the Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig of their time for Japanese baseball. I don't think either of them lived a crazy life like Babe Ruth did though, but I do know that Nagashima was a pretty odd fella, but still a great player. Now in there, there's roller skating, a bowling alley, and a batting dome. I've never been bowling in there, but I have been in the batting dome and I have been in the roller skating. So I'll definitely post clips of me in there for this video. I'm not going in there right now, but I just want to show you that. Before we get to the game though, I do have to show you the coolest cafe in all of Japan if you are a baseball fan. Look at all this. This is baseball heaven right here. If you love baseball, ew. But anyways, if you love baseball, you're never going to want to leave this place once you step in. 
Look at all this. The goat. Yeah, this is baseball heaven, isn't it? Oh. And they're showing some major league games out right now. Well, this, these are obviously reruns. Of course, this is the table that I chose to sit at. So we're here now and we're a little bit high, but not that bad of a view. I mean, definitely better than the last time I was here. I was all, all, all the way over there in the standing only section and can't see anything because of all the pillars in the way, but yeah. We're pretty high now, but at least we can see everything. Oh, swing and a miss. And you know what's also interesting about Japanese baseball is the fact that every player has their own chant when they're up to bat. So now Sugano's up to bat for the Giants, the pitcher, and you already know how I feel about this. I think it's stupid that they require pitchers to hit. Major League Baseball already has the universal DH. I don't know why Japan still doesn't have that. I guess it just is what it is, but yeah, I really don't think it's a smart idea at all, and I have a whole video on that in case you're new here. So now Sugano's up to bat for the Giants, the pitcher, and you already know how I feel about this. I think it's stupid that they require pitchers to hit. Major League Baseball already has the universal DH. I don't know why Japan still doesn't have that. I guess it just is what it is, but yeah, I really don't think it's a smart idea at all, and I have a whole video on that in case you're new here. Well, Sugano actually got a hit just as I said that. That doesn't change my opinion though, but he actually took the ball opposite field. He's still hitting a, under 100 this season, but he actually got a hit. Now don't get me wrong, I do think it's exciting when a pitcher does get a hit, but it's just not nearly enough for me to think that it's a good idea to require pitchers to hit. But yeah, hey, he actually did get a hit this time. He took the ball the opposite field. Nice piece of hitting there by the pitcher. Nice. All right, I wasn't filming, but Adam Walker just hit a home run. Hey! Maybe they'll show the replay though, but yeah, the camera, will okay, there we go, replay. Okay, my bad, I messed up because my finger got in the way of the camera, but yeah, Adam Walker just hit a home run, now it's two nothing Giants. Okay, it's kind of hard to predict home runs, but yeah, this guy just hit a home run, Maru. Let's see, let's see the replay. So now it's three up the Giants on this home run by Maru. I don't think he would have gotten three, but hey, I'll definitely take the double. I don't think so. No. <laughs> oh, nice catch! I'm keeping that for the vlog. Even though it's an out, I gotta give him his props. And that was a nice play right there. So this guy that's coming to bat, Gregory Polanco. This guy is massive. He's 6'5". Alright, so it's a 1-2 count. Two outs. Runners on first and third. Oh, okay. Gonna get to second now. You know what's crazy is that beer vendors here actually carry kegs on their back. Imagine walking up and down a flight of stairs while carrying a keg on your back. Is that the vendors that Japanese baseball has that Major League Baseball doesn't have? Cheerleaders. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like to see Major League Baseball have cheerleaders or not. But I'll tell you right now, yeah, Japanese baseball, they have cheerleaders. 
I don't know if all 12 teams have them, but at least the Giants do. So I think this is like their seventh inning stretch because... Yeah, it is the seventh inning. The middle of the seventh inning now. No, wait, what am I saying? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is like their seventh inning stretch. Okay, yeah, that was their seventh inning stretch because that was a, it is the middle of the seventh inning now. Yeah, I kind of lost track, my bad, but yeah, that is their seventh inning stretch. Yeah. Oh, double play right here, double play. Oh, not quite. Get this last out. Yeah, 122 pitches in this game in the eighth inning. He's pitching a shutout. This will definitely be his last inning. Hopefully this will be his last batter. Okay, let's, get it. let's get this out. We got, we got him. We got him. So I think this will probably be his last batter. But hey, what an outing. Eight innings, no runs. 123 pitches. Incredible stuff from the A's. That should probably be it for him though. And they'll probably bring in the closer next inning. To be honest, I don't know who the Giants closer is. I'm not going to lie to you. But yeah. I do know that that is the Giants ace, and he did just go eight innings and pitch shutout baseball throughout those eight innings. So we have a new pitcher in. I think this is their closer, most likely, yeah, but yeah, Sugano, Sugano went eight innings, eight innings of shutout baseball, so now here comes who I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure is the closer, so... Yeah, they have kind of a build-up for it, like Mariano Rivera with Enter Sandman, except the bullpen's actually in the dugout here at the Tokyo Dome, not in the outfield, so he's not gonna come running into the running onto the mound from the dugout. I mean from the outfield, so yeah, they kind of have a build-up, but you know, I guess this might just be me as a Yankees fan that I prefer being from the outfield because you know I just feel more of a build-up for, like, let's say it's Mariano Rivera coming into the game with Enter Sandman playing, but this guy, apparently he does have his song, too. I don't know this song, though, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. New pitcher coming into the game, Taisei. So, he's coming in for the save. Alright, so he got the save and the Giants win. That's his 19th save of the year. Actually, this guy's a rookie, but yeah, Giants win. So yeah, hey, good win for the Giants. They win 3 nothing. I actually do have one of those towels at home. I didn't bring it this time. that's it for tonight i appreciate you guys watching i hope you enjoyed the vlog and if you can please consider liking the video for the youtube algorithm subscribing if you're new and hitting the notification bell for more analysis and also some vlogs I really appreciate your support links to my social media are down below i'll be sure to follow you back hey giants came away with the victory three nothing Sugano went eight shutout innings, and then the closer, Taisei Ota, he's a rookie this year actually, and he's a really good closer for the Giants this year, and he finished the job, Giants win three nothing, and they scored in the first inning before I arrived, I'm not sure how they got their, how they got that run, but I know they got two runs on two home runs from Maru, their leadoff hitter, and also Adam Walker. And Maru drove in the first run in the first inning, so yeah. Yeah, he probably did hit a home run if he's a leadoff hitter and he drove in the first run. But yeah, unfortunately I missed that. But yeah, good game for the Giants. They came away with the win against the SoftBank Hawks. So good night, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe and peace out.